Hey everyone, this is Retro John, and today we're going to be taking a look at these bunch of pieces right here. These pieces belong to the Marvel Legends Age of Apocalypse build the figure Sugar Man. So we're going to go ahead and put him together and then take a look at him uh, once he's put together. So all of these pieces came with uh, the seven Age of Apocalypse Marvel Legend figures that we've already done. Uh, those figures are Jean Grey, X-Man, Sunfire, Wild Child, Weapon X, Morph, and Dark Beast. And I'm going to go ahead and actually use this so I can um, put him together properly. Just put that over to the side here. So the first thing we need to do is let's go ahead and assemble his torso. Now these things never come with instructions, but they're pretty straightforward and simple. Um, so we're going to take his face and this uh, other part of the torso here and we're going to just plug in his face to the torso like so. And it just fits in like that. Next we have his back with some more pegs in the back. Yep. And we're going to go ahead and just attach these like so. Um, this is supposed to be a little easy, uh, but we have this, so this may make it a little bit more difficult because this is really, and there we go. So this, I think, comes off, whoop, there we go. So we'll take that off for now. We'll put the back on, uh, the pegs right here and here, there we go. We'll go ahead and put this back on. really need to get that up further. There we go. Okay, so we have part of him already together. Uh, these over here are his top arms. So we'll go ahead and put those on. Those will go plug in up here. Like so. We got one up here so. Now we'll put his bottom ones on. We got pig over here. So I'll put the right arm in the right hole. All right. And then we'll do it with the same with this. All right. So and I'm going to say right now he's actually getting kind of hefty here. All right. So then we have his left leg which attaches here. I hope this is the right leg. Okay. My, my, I think I might have mixed up the legs. <laughs> I hope I did not. Alright, I think this is the right leg. Really difficult to get on. Maybe this is the wrong way. Alright, we'll try this one. This might be the correct one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, so I'm saying right now his legs are incredibly hard to get on. Maybe this is the right. Oh. All right, that one is on. I'm not sure it is correct, honestly. Actually, it's not correct. I does one thing I did forget to do is separate the legs. So we're going to try it with this. And this is incredibly difficult to do. Wow. This is harder than it looks, friends. <laughs> His legs do not want to attach. There we go. Good Lord. Hmm. 
And I really, really hope I got the correct foot. <laughs> All right, that's one on. There we go. All right. I believe, I believe I actually have, <laughs> unbelievable, I actually have the wrong foot. Oh. Unbelievable. There we go. There we go. Okay. Now we got it. Now that looks better. Wow. Okay. All right. So now we got to find the right way to get this guy to stand. He's wobbling. All right, so this, you want to talk about top heavy. This guy is definitely going to be top heavy. Okay. So here is our Sugar Man build a figure, finally. I had such issues with these legs. Uh, let's go ahead and go over all the articulation on this guy. So obviously his head is not going to be moving, but I believe he does have a waist swivel, like so. No, obviously no ab crunch or anything like that. Uh, no articulation in the tongue or anything like that. Uh, but his arms, of course, are going to be able to move. Uh, his top mo And they're going to have the bicep swivel. Uh, looks like they do have bend at the elbow. The top ones have the double elbow there. Uh, there is wrist bends and swivels. Uh, make sure they all bend and swivel as we've had issues with other figures. Okay. All right. Good. They all do. They all do that. <laughs> um, these look like to be a separate piece. So if you take the this off, you'll be able to take the bands off. I'm not going to do that here. Uh, of course, the belt here is a separate piece as we had to take it off to um, place his back part here off or on rather. Um, this is a very chunky guy, very big guy. Uh, his legs are not going to move out very far, probably about that far. Uh, looks like he is going to have bends at the knees, but they're not double jointed. So I wouldn't expect them to be, honestly. Uh, the ankles are moving up and down, and they do have a swivel, so that's good. Uh, we also have, of course, we're going to have the swivel at the thigh, because that's where we attached the legs to. And that is the articulation on Sugar Man here. Uh, of course, uh, this one looks like it's going to be difficult. There we go. And there. Uh, this will be very difficult to stand. I can tell that right now. Uh, there is the articulation in his legs, by the way. As I did forget to mention. Um, and it looks like this ankle is just a little, it will not support to weight. As it wants to keep moving forward. Boom, say. So if I do this, maybe. Yeah, his ankle joints do not want to support his weight. Um, so if you're going to display him, I wouldn't display him behind a bunch of figures because then he's going to fall over and knock them all down. Uh, you got to position him just right. There we go. There's our sugar man, complete, put together. Um, now, he does come with another accessory, and this is going to weigh him down some more, because this is a very hard hammer. 
This is a Sugar Man's hammer. Definitely has a lot of weight to this thing. Um, I briefly went over this with the Dark Beast because that's uh, this came from. You look at it, it's got a very marble stone appearance to it. I really like that. And of course it's got sugar embroidered on that. Got the handle wrap. So this is going to fit, it looks like, in his right hand on the bottom. You could probably put it up that one, but probably is just not going to look as right as it will on this one. So let's go ahead and do Whoop, see. <laughs> let's go ahead and do that right now. Um, and definitely having issues putting it in. There we go. So there we go. Now he has his hammer. And let's get his other hand here in focus. That's good enough. We'll just move him back. There we go. And there is Sugar Man put together and just he's evil looking. He's very evil looking. Uh, we went over articulation. Let's go ahead and go over all the details on this guy. Because there's a lot going on. God, he's a very heavy figure. A lot heavier than Apocalypse was. Um, I'm not sure the history of Sugar Guy. Honestly, I don't remember. It's been a while since I've read the comic. Uh, so we have his hair here. It's all sculpted. Um, we got a little bit of what looks like maybe grayish brushing here to make everything stand out. We have his horns, which are not articulated. They're just there. Uh, the eyebrows match the hair, which is really nice. Um... Uh, a lot of shading going on here on his arms and his face, which all are matched in a color, uh, especially around his eyes, which are a very nice, vibrant, evil looking red. Uh, it does not match his evil, sinister tongue at all. <laughs> uh, and I'm wondering if this, this probably wouldn't be the tongue they used for Venom, I'm sure. Uh, but I do like the fact that the teeth are a different shade of color than the rest of him. Uh, we have his black suspenders with the different uh, buttons. Um, this one, I guess, could be used as Deadpool, maybe? Doesn't have the eyes, though, so it's probably just, I don't know, random button. Uh, we got the nice silver buckles. Uh, and again, this is removable, but you're going to have to remove the arms to do so. Uh, we have his under shirt here, which is a very nice dark red. Kind of matches his tongue, actually. Uh, and then again, this is a very heavy figure. It was kind of heavy before I put the arms on. And I didn't think it would be because it's, you know, hollow. I guess the middle portion here is what gives it its weight. Uh, his legs is kind of a very dark blue, uh, almost black. Uh, we got some, you know, wrinkles in, in there and everything. Um, yeah. <coughs> and again, we got some, we even got some shading on the back here, which is pretty cool. We don't get a lot of paint jobs on the back of the figures very often. Uh, we got muscles on here. Uh, we have some sculpted hair, but no paint detail on there. Um, like we would say with Wolverine. So, and of course we have a ring here on one of his hands. Uh, we got multiple, we got a couple more rings here. Um, no rings on this hand, but this hand, this fist definitely, definitely ready to punch somebody. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So, I mean, it was a nice way to get this figure, build a figure. I don't see any other way to really... Uh, to give us this figure other than the way they did it. Um, build a figure was definitely a way to go. Uh, honestly, I, up until they said he was going to be the build a figure, I completely forgot he existed in that universe. I don't know how I was able to forget he existed, but he did. He does. Uh, let's see, I can probably go ahead and zoom in a bit. There we go. Yeah, very evil character, uh, very sinister, if I remember correctly. Uh, almost as sinister um, 
Almost as sinister as Dark Beast. Speaking of sinister, if there's a wave two, we need to get Mr. Sinister. Mr. Sinister, Magneto, Rogue, Gambit. Let's do it. But what's with and Sabretooth, which I could see probably being the build a figure for that wave. It seems we're already getting an apocalypse. Um, eventually here. I think uh, he comes out in October. August or October. I don't remember. He's coming out. <laughs> uh, and he's pre-ordered, so as soon as he comes in, I will go ahead and review him. Uh, so let's go ahead and bring in some of these other figures in the wave. Uh, we have more for over here. Uh, let's see if we can get these guys to stand. I had issues standing a lot of these guys. Uh, we've got our Wolverine here. And where is Gene? We need Gene to stand next to Wolverine. Can I get her to stand? <laughs> that is the question. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Here we have our entire Age of Apocalypse figures, and they look amazing together. Um, I'm really hoping that we get more of these. Uh, these are a fantastic uh, first wave set, and here's hoping for a wave two. So again, uh, make sure you check out all the previous videos for reviews on all of the other characters here. Um, They'll be, uh, of course, listed in uh, on the channel here. And this is just fantastic. I absolutely love these. I'm really hoping for a Wave 2. Uh, I don't see, you know, how you can just have this set and not continue. Uh, so many other characters we need, such as Magneto, Rogue, Gambit, Mr. Sinister, Cyclops, for crying out loud, or good old One-Eye there. Definitely a need. Um, so, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Let me know who your favorite character in this line is down in the comments below. And please, if you're new to the channel, give me a subscribe. Until next time, my friends, this is Retro John, and I am out of here.